Level 49, Trenches of Grime. Survival Difficulty, Class 2. Unsafe, Secure, Low Entity Count. Level 49 is the 50th level of the back rooms. This level is a massive and endless war zone, very comparable to a World War I era battlefield. It is completely devoid of all fighting. Description This level is only dangerous if one leaves a trench, or if caught outside during a bombing run. Upon leaving the safety of a trench, one will be shot with several thousands of bullets until they are indistinguishable from the thousands of other bodies which lay across the battlefield. Despite fluorescent tube lights being nowhere in sight, a faint buzzing sound can still be heard. Very rarely, planes may fly overhead. Bombs may land on one of the trenches. If this happens to you, remember L-E-A-D. Locate shelter. Enter shelter. Assure clearance from openings. Duck and cover your head. Bombs may fall for four minutes to several hours. During this time, it is extremely important to occupy oneself. All possible measures must be taken to maintain absolute calmness to prevent development of shell shock. If possible, sleep is the best course of action, as the mind will be turned off, and further stress will be eliminated. Other options include exercise, or if lucky, playing a game of solitaire with a deck of cards. Upon failure to take preventative measures in the event of a bombing, shell shock begins to set in. Those afflicted with shell shock are reported to have similar effects to real shell shock, unblinking eyes, frequent panic attacks, etc., with some differences. Namely, the largest difference is a slow transformation into one of the many soldiers. Within the course of 48 hours, victims of shell shock are completely indistinguishable from other soldiers and will proceed to act in their manner. Shell shock can be cured through almond water, but this effect is irreversible once completed. Bases, Outposts, and Communities The Reds The Reds are the soldiers which remain on the west side of no Man's Land. They sport red clothes and typically carry bolt-action pattern 1914 Enfield rifles. They also carry fragmentation grenades and water canteens full of water. These soldiers are typically nonchalant toward outsiders, and they completely ignore all outsiders as if they did not exist. They will attack if provoked and will strike to incapacitate. The Blues the Blues are soldiers residing on the east side of No Man's Land. They don blue clothes and typically carry Gewehr 88 bolt-action rifles and a semi-automatic Ahola M1915. They also carry stick grenades and a canteen. Their canteens are typically empty or very close to being empty. They tend to be rather sickly and thin and will typically shove past outsiders. They will attack if provoked and will strike to kill. Entrances and Exits Entrances This level is accessed through the Humvee on level 35. Exits There is no known way to leave this level for now.